Hi, this is Chris with Orange Coast College's Art Department talking about keyboard modifiers on the Mac when using Photoshop for digital painting. Now, this is one of the big differences between using, let's say, Procreate on an iPad or maybe some of the other uh, digital painting programs out there is Photoshop is really mature uh, and has a lot of sort of deep shortcuts. Um, we're going to be talking about the keyboard shortcuts that you see highlighted here in purple. So this is the shift key, the control key, the option key, command key, and the space bar. If you're reusing Windows, there is in all likelihood Windows versions of many of these, but I actually don't know any of them because I don't use Windows. So um, let's get started by just seeing what each individual com uh, key does. And in general, I'm talking about what it does when you're using the brush tool, um, although in other instances, the move tool. So starting with the shift key, if you hold down shift when using the brush tool, you'll be able to constrain to uh, 90 degrees and zero degrees. So it'll give you the opportunity to constrain to straight lines. And that goes for most of the other tools as well. Um, another interesting thing, uh, lesser known, is if you click once with your brush and then you hold down shift, it'll play connect the dots for you. So I'm just clicking with shift held down and it will uh, stroke your brush from one click to the next. So that's kind of nice. Um, let me highlight just the key I'm working on here. So uh, with the control key, if you hold down control, it's essentially like a right click. Um, so hold down control and I get in the brush tool, I get my brushes palette so I can easily pick a new brush. Um, if I'm in a something like the move tool uh, or the marquee tool, if I hold it down, I just get my usual right click pop up menu and I can select from here. Um, so the option tool when I'm brushing will temporarily pop up the eyedropper so I can select a color um, based on um, the temporary eyedropper. As soon as I release the option key, I'm back to my brush. And so this is really handy for uh, just grabbing color picking from your existing artwork. So just hold down option, grab the color, let go of option, and you're back. The command key is when you can temporarily switch to the move tool. So if I hold down command, I'm in the move tool right now. So I can move what I'm, is active on my layer, and then when I release command, it will uh, jump me right back to whatever tool I was in, in this case, the brush tool. And then the space bar tool, when you uh, are in the brush tool and you hold down space bar, it just uh, gives you a temporary hand tool. So I can pan around using the hand tool. And when I release the space bar, I go right back to the tool that I was in. Um, so the brush tool in this instance. So those are pretty widely known, but what I want to look at next is what happens when you combine these two things together. So for instance, uh, let's see what happens when we contr uh, combine control and option. So I'm going to hold down control and option, and now I can adjust my brush size by dragging right to left, and I can adjust my brush hardness when dragging up and down. So um, with those two keys held down, I can adjust both hardness and size, which is pretty nice. I use this more and more. And if you're using a round brush, it'll actually demonstrate it like it is red on screen right now. If you're using uh, another brush, it'll just give you a circle to show size. Um, let's say you wanna hold down Control and Command. This is pretty nice. Uh, what this does is it'll pop up a small menu of layers that you have that are directly under your cursor. 
So if you're like many artists out there, uh, you may have a ton of layers in your layer palette. And when you hold down uh, Control and Command, it will pop up this menu and you can select through them. Now, I don't have many layers in this document, but often this list will be you know, 10, 20 layers underneath my cursor. And if I'm wise and I label all my layers, I can jump between them really quick. So I don't have to go find the layer palette to do that. So another nice combo shortcut. Let's look at control and space being pressed. And I have some zoom options here. So I can do fit, I can do 100%, 200% in print size. So uh, if you're um, working on web and you always need to be in 100%, that's a quick 100% shortcut. Um, and if you're painting, you probably want fit on screen. Uh, let's look next at option command. So these two keys um, are really helpful. Now, you know if you hold down Command, you get the Move tool. But if you hold down Command and Option together, I'm going to jump onto this graphic. I'm going to get what I call Copy Drag. It's the Move tool plus the Option gives you Copy. So I can Copy Drag what I've got selected or if I don't have anything selected, it'll copy drag the whole layer. Um, and then let's try this again, but throw in the shift as well. So with shift selected, I can copy drag, but it's going to constrain me to only vertical or only horizontal where I can copy drag. And this really comes in handy. Can you see how I can even adjust these keys by copy dragging with shift and it's going to lock me perfectly aligned horizontally and that's very handy to know. All right next option let's look at command spacebar. So I'm using this more and more these days. So command and space and what this does is it gives me access to the zoom tool the magnifying glass. The one thing I want to um, make sure you know about is if I drag to the right, I'm going to zoom in. And if I drag to the left, I'm going to zoom out, even though the magnifying glass still has the plus sign. So I can magnify in, magnify out. Now, this is pretty handy, but it's especially handy in combination with the space bar. So if I drop command, I go to the pan tool. So I can pan, add command, zoom, drop uh, uh, command, and pan, and back and forth, back and forth. So it's a really easy way to um, pan and zoom uh, with those two keys together. So hopefully that's helped you understand a little bit about uh, some options that you got using these keyboard modifiers. Now there's a lot more out there that they do, but these are the ones that are important to me, both in quickly accessing tools that uh, start and stop, so I don't actually have to change out of the tool, um, stops me from accessing the layers palette, and gives me sort of pan and zoom, as well as brush size control. So being able to do this straight from keyboard modifiers uh, just heightens my efficiency as I'm working in Photoshop. All right, now it's your turn. Give it a look, try these keys out, experiment with what different tools do when you're holding down keyboard modifiers, and see if you can incorporate this into your workflow. Good luck.